What's up guys, I'm back like another left in this video. We are going to be talking about a few stock and penny stocks that have FDA related news coming out in a matter of few days. So we're gonna go over and talk about exactly what these companies are all about. What is the ideal price point to get involved in these companies? What is the potential profit price target that we can set? What is the risk area? We're gonna go over in detail about these companies. So if you're interested, make sure you watch at the end of the video because I'm going to cover all this important information that you need to know about these companies that have FDA related news coming up in the month of August pretty soon. So now let's get right into the video. Now before I go in detail talk about these companies of course getting involved in FDA related companies, FDA related stocks, it's very risky because you don't know what can potentially be happening but these two stocks that I'm going to be talking about they're actually at the final stage of the FDA process, you know, usually you have to go to phase one, phase two, phase three. So they're actually at the end stages. They're going to be going on a review. So they're sitting at a very critical point right now. So even though they're at the final stage, you never know what they're going to be saying. What is the news they're going to be releasing when it comes to FDA? Because even at the final stage, that might come out and state that they are going to change the potential FDA announcement dates to the future. They may postpone it for any kind of reasons, and that can significantly affect the stock price. So if everything goes as planned, of course, the stock price can definitely see a spike and they can go up, you know, 10, 20% within a matter of days. And we've seen companies go up, you know, up to 50 to 100% within a matter of days when they have these kind of massive catalyst related to the FDA come out. So, so that is just a risk when you're trying to get involved with these companies. So make sure you actually lock in your profits, you make a lot of money. Or if the things doesn't work out, make sure you cut your losses as quick as possible. So just to get the disclaimer out of the way. So the first thing, first stock that we are going to be talking about is going to be ticker symbol SESN. So as you can see over here, the stock price is currently sitting at $4.04 right now. The stock has been consolidating over here between $4.10 and $4 for the past few weeks right now. So it hit a high of around $4.80 and a decline, it went down to the downside and it found support at around $3.70 area. So they have their FDA priority review on August 18. So this is really crucial. So when the day comes, the company can release a press release saying that they're going to be moving forward with it. They're going to get the FDA approval, anything like that. That can potentially make the stock price go up. If any kind of negative news comes out, it can potentially break down to the downside. So if everything goes as planned, the stock price can definitely, you know, go retest the highs that are made around over here, the, the $4.80 area, if it can potentially break out, it can go all the way up to, you know, $5.50, you know. So when you go in detail and look at exactly what this company is all about, when you go to visit their website, this is a company that is trying to pass a drug that is related to bladder cancer. So this is really important. As you can see, when you go and do more research about, when you go to their website, it says safe and improve the lives of patients. And they have a lot of brands out there that have six most common. So as you can see from the website, this is uh, bladder cancer, the sixth most common cancer, 72 average age of diagnosis, 80,000 80, new cases each year in the US, and 4 billion annual costs. You know, so this is really huge for bladder cancer. So they're trying to tackle bladder cancer and the drug they're trying to pass is also associated with that. And the date to watch out for is going to be August 18. So when you go over and look in detail to see exactly who owns this company, like if this institutions own it, is it like insiders own it, as retail investors own it, we have to really ask this important questions before we jump in and try to, you know, capitalize on the massive opportunity that is presented right now. So as you can see, the share of the float right now is sitting at 173.34 million. And off of that, we have insider institution ownership at around 25 and uh, insider transactions being 6.65. And insider ownership is not a lot, which is gonna be 0 0.62. So it's not a lot and it's not shorted that much too. So when you look at the stock price overall in general it's been in an uptrend right now is sitting at a very critical point we have the moving averages which is the 200 moving day average and all the 50 day moving average are also just curling up right around over here so if we get a very good support if it can sustain above this price point up until you know august 18 if we get a positive 
renews that comes out from this company you know it's going to be a fantastic opportunity to capitalize and the stock can potentially go and break out to five dollar area so it's a very good risk reward you can definitely risk off of you know the four at three dollars and ninety cents two dollars seventy cents area for the stock to potentially if it works everything works out it can go and break out of five dollar area so definitely definitely like the setup this is the number one stock to watch out for for this upcoming week so s-e-s-n so now let's move on to the second company so before we get into the second company make sure you smash the like button and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel too so the second company that we're going to be talking about is going to be ticker symbol c-a-r-a -A. so this is also another stock that we need to be watching out for because they have their final fda a priority review coming up pretty soon and the day we need to be watching out for is going to be august 23rd so the drug they're trying to pass is going to be associated with chronic kidney disease so that is going to be helping to fight people that suffer that disease you know so when you look at the stock price over here the stock had a massive drop right around over here from around you know 20 26 dollars all the way the drop all the way down to 12 dollars. so that's a massive gap down so the stock price has just been consolidating for the past few months between $15 and $11.22. That was like the low, that, the low that it made. But any kind of positive news and any kind of recovery move is going to be exponential for this stock because as you can see over here, this is a pretty massive gap down. So usually stocks, you know, there's a high probability that are going to be filling the gap over here. So if we can see a positive news coming out of this company it can potentially be starting to close the gap over here so uh, the risk area the important risk area we need to be watching out for is of course you can definitely use a $12 $11 area right around over here and if things work out as planned if the stock decides to you know to break out the company comes out and announces a positive news by the FDA and etc it could potentially hit you know $15 and could potentially you know start to fill the gap over here so that is a very very fantastic opportunity for this company so when you go in detail do more research about this company of course you know when you look at insider ownership institution ownership this company also is a very low flow company so it's not going to be taking a lot of you know share buying to make the stock go up because it only has 42 million shares so if there's a lot of institution buying or even if a lot of retail investors decide to buy it this stock can definitely move up you know so as you can see this huge gap up that's just when you know maybe institution ownership or insiders just have to sell this huge gap down happens so that is one of the risks also when it comes to these fda related news because you never know if it's going to be positive or negative that is one of the risks that you're taking because it could potentially be going down like this but most of the time since they're at the final stage as i mentioned these companies either the pdufa priority review stage and as i said you know they go through phase one phase two phase three so they passed all that stages and they're going to get reviewed and if they're going to get this drug passed or not so they're sitting pretty pretty good but you never know what can happen that is the risk you know so as you can see over here as i mentioned you know it's institution the short flow the amount of people that are shorting it right now is only 7.21 you know, percent we have institution ownership of 68 so that is really fantastic and insider ownership is also 2.7 percent so that is relatively good compared to the other company that we talked about so definitely keep an eye on this specific company of course if you want to do more research about it you can definitely go to their website and do more digging do more research about it. as i mentioned you know these companies are definitely a great swing trading opportunities you know if you can just if the stock price decides to go up it's really beneficial to lock in your profits as quick as possible if they go up and if they go down you just have to just cut your losses quickly because usually if they go up a lot these companies can come out and say they're going to be offering more shares to to raise money and you don't want to be you know holding the you know the stock at that time because usually when they're trying to do an offering the stock price actually go comes down so that's really beneficial to lock in your profits you know as we talked about you know the potential profit targets for these companies you know so that's definitely it for this video if you have any questions any comments make sure you drop in the comment section below and of course you know if you want to subscribe to the channel make sure you subscribe and make sure you uh, check out the links in the box if you want to get free stocks you know for bitcoin and etc check out the links but i catch you guys on another video make sure you manage your risk and uh, have a wonderful day